Welcome to the Host with Confidence podcast. I am Becky Guzak, here to empower the hesitant host to entertain with confidence and ease. I'll be sharing stories, strategies, and inspiration on how to take out the stress and boost up the joy of welcoming guests into your home. Okay, let's get started. Welcome. Today, we're talking about surprise parties. This topic was motivated by a listener who asked for suggestions on how to celebrate someone's birthday when it falls at a busy time of year. We started talking about celebrating ahead of their birthday up to six weeks in advance, and then that just led to the idea of taking it up a notch, honoring someone you care about with a surprise party. A surprise party can celebrate all sorts of special moments, like birthdays, farewells, homecomings, retirements, anniversaries, graduations, baby showers, and pre-wedding celebrations. But before diving right into planning one, it's really important to feel positive that the person being honored will ultimately enjoy being surprised. Not everyone is keen on surprises. Even though you might think it's a blast, your super organized friend or someone who does not like to be the center of attention may find it more stressful than fun. I remember learning this lesson years ago when I threw a surprise party for my friend's 30th birthday. I was really excited because I thought she would love it. Turns out, even though she enjoys celebrating with her friends and family, being the center of attention isn't her thing. So what I thought would be special turned out to be uncomfortable for her. It was a big lesson for me. Thinking back to that experience, here are some things that can help determine if a surprise party might be the right move. Ask someone close to the guest of honor who knows them well. See how they react when talking about surprises. Think how they've reacted to surprises before. Consider their personality. Someone who goes with the flow will likely enjoy it. Even if someone doesn't like surprises, you can still plan a party for them. Instead of keeping it a complete surprise, you can let them know there will be a celebration without giving away all the specifics. If that's too much for them, ask if you can plan a small lunch or dinner where you work out the details for them. This way, they can be ready for it, know that people care, and hopefully will get the joy out of the anticipation. If you've determined that throwing a surprise party is a good idea, it's now planning time. Start with deciding if you want to coordinate this yourself or rally a co-host or two. For many people, having partners can make the whole experience more creative, collaborative, and fun for all. Next, choose an experience and location that's convenient and comfortable for the guest of honor and attendees. Some fun ideas include having it at a restaurant, a bar, or a brewery at a park or beach where the guest of honor arrives to a fully set up picnic area, outdoor games and friends and family, having an appetizer party or full on dinner at someone's home. Organizing a wine tasting or food pairing experience could be great for a foodie or how about a scavenger hunt or a karaoke and dance party for someone who would love that. There are many creative options depending on the guest of honor's personality and interests. So have fun with it. Once you've figured that out, Make sure the date works for the guest of honor in a way that doesn't tip them off. Invite people who are significant to the honoree and can keep a secret. Communicate with guests how do you like them to participate and the surprise plan to avoid accidental reveals. When going through all the planning decisions, continually go back to what the guest of honor would want. That relates to the where, who to invite, what to do, games or no games, gifts or no gifts, what type of food and beverage will be available, how formal or casual the gathering will be, and so on. One of the most exciting parts of the planning is the ambush. Will it be subtle, such as the guest of honor shows up to a bar or brewery and notices familiar faces slowly, or will it be everyone shouts surprise at once? There's a wide range in between, again going back to what best suits the guest of honor. The last surprise party I went to was for a friend's 60th birthday, It was super fun and simple. His birthday is at the end of December, a tough time to get people together. He was traveling with family then, so they decided to celebrate together while out of town. A month later, his wife threw him a surprise party with his closest friends at their home. So it was a welcome shock to him as his birthday was far off his radar. He loved it and felt special. She devised a plan for him and a friend to meet for happy hour. During that time, us guests all brought over appetizers 
and set up decorations, the food table, and a beverage station. We had a blast getting the party ready together and anticipating his arrival and excitement. She had some added touches where we all had handheld masks with a picture of his face for his arrival, and one friend came up with a trivia game all about him. She had thoughtful, clever questions, and we all learned something new about the guest of honor. The three friends who got the most right won prizes from the host. The whole experience was super fun, memorable, casual, but special, and everyone felt great contributing to making our friend feel cherished. Well, that's a wrap on surprise parties. I hope this episode sparked some inspiration about spreading joy and planning a surprise party, making someone you care about feel special and appreciated. I look forward to next week where we're going to talk game nights. And please, if you have any topic suggestions, questions, or stories, I would love to hear from you. My email is postwithconfidence at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Host with Confidence podcast. I hope you found inspiration and valuable insights to help you along your hosting journey. Please remember that the key to hosting with confidence is all about embracing your unique style, having a plan, and enjoying the process alongside your guests. If you like this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite platform. Your feedback and support are greatly appreciated and helps us build a stronger community. Cheers.